Oh, hi. Thanks for being here. Uh, today I want to do something I've never done before, which is a book review. Now you ask, why does he want to do a book review? Well, the simple answer is uh, because of the most recent NFL Super Bowl all-female flyover. For some reason, the internet is full of negativity, saying, uh, Vogue Agenda, virtual singer, blah. I say it's total badass. I mean, look at these girls. They have the time of their life up in the sky, living their dream. And I'm sure they can appreciate that groundwork that has been laid by other female aviators before them. So this could actually happen. And for that reason, I want to introduce you to the book Nerves of Steel written by Tammy Jo Schultz, who was one of the first uh, naval aviators. <clears throat> Back then the Navy was the only branch that accepted female aviators. And this book describes how, or she describes in her book, how she aspired to be a pilot as a young child. And a lot of people, uh, I'm not saying but they took the wind out of her sails, you know, like, ah, oh, it's just for men and it's too hard to get into and this and that. And the book shows it's, life is not a straight line, you know, it, it, it gets curvy, it gets uh, difficult to navigate sometimes. But she made it. She got uh, past the discrimination, uh, being lied to being told uh, we don't want you here not because you cannot handle it you can your skills are not there your experience is not good or you're just an idiot no it's because you're female I mean I, I, it's pretty tough I guess I can assume if you if you get this being told uh, that because of your gender you just can't do it and I have done some time in my birth country in the military and it was late 90s they have been integrating females but it was mostly for medical positions and that was it you barely saw those girls and on the other hand my wife has done here over 21 years of army service and <coughs> she's a five foot nothing Latina and she has been dealing with discrimination and this and that and you know she also stayed the course she, she could have given up and say you know I'm, I'm leaving but she didn't so in my book she's also badass for making it through not giving up and showing these guys that you know it, it, it doesn't depend what you have between your legs it doesn't depend on that if you're good at your job or not and and she describes in her book um, how thankful she is because she was one of the first ones and she built on that foundation that they laid which one of them is uh, Captain Rosemary Mariner <clears throat> she was actually the first one to fly a fighter jet or a tactical jet whatever you want to call it and then later became a, a, a captain and um, a commanding officer and <clears throat> and she built up on that and that's what ultimately led to your Super Bowl flyover all-female flyover she wasn't alone you know <clears throat> she had she had some a few uh, uh, workmates that were females like Sue Hart, you know, Brenda Scheufele, Pamela Carroll and <coughs> Excuse me. And her book describes wonderfully how how she she went from dreaming about flying to actually being a naval aviator, and then transitioned to civilian pilot, uh, airline pilot. And you probably have heard of Southwest Flight 1380. And yeah, she was she was a pilot. And, or the captain 
and also again internet <coughs> full of negativity yeah she's not the only one flying the plane yada yada true it's the captain and the first officer but emergency procedure says the captain is flying no matter whose turn it is so yeah she was flying that airplane and getting it safely to Philadelphia for an emergency landing with just one uh, one engine and a blown out window <clears throat> so in my book that is not just the hero that she, she is a total badass I mean she handled it cool calm I mean not a lot of people have that trait you know to stay that cool under pressure go back to training go back to your experience like you know it, it it's pretty remarkable in my book and there have been others too I mean for that she has been <clears throat> there has been a house resolution been introduced in 2018 which honors not just her but also the crew of that flight for their bravery knowledge and dedication they all did the right thing at the right time because they were dedicated to their work and this is you know who introduced that uh, that resolution <clears throat> it was Colonel Martha McSally McSally she is also a pilot she also flew A-10s and again makes her a total badass in my book there have been there have been it, there have, you know there have been many uh, uh, female aviators but again they don't get the recognition and the respect they deserve so if you if you uh, if you're a teenager needing or looking for a role model a hero to look up to buy this book if you're a parent and you see your teenager is struggling or your teenager needs something someone to look up to even though you might don't want to be an aviator maybe you don't even want to be in the military still buy this book it it's really it's it's I had a hard time putting it up <clears throat> it's beautifully written it's it tells a great story she didn't even want to write it to my understanding I guess it, it took some convincing from her husband <laughs> saying no you should do that uh, and I'm glad he did and I'm glad she did you know all these all these ladies up there in those airplanes all these ladies uh, in the military standing their ground standing their ground doing their work you know serving their country uh, giving their best every day they they need they deserve more recognition and respect because they earned to be there this was not just given to them there's another one uh, it it's a uh, very interesting story too and she has written a book I pre-ordered it it's not out yet but it's uh, Kimberly Campbell who was actually who brought her plane back it was shot up and she brought it back because she said I'm not gonna eject over back that that grit that determination her call name is killer chick I mean, these are your role models, <clears throat> guys and girls. These are your role models. The man who dresses up as a girl is not your role model. It's not it. A guy who tells you he is better at being a girl than a girl is not it. You need some real heroes. These ladies, they didn't just talk the talk, they also walked the walk. They've been there, they've done that. I would be honored just being in the same room with them. That's how highly I think of them. These girls are total badass. 
and it does not hurt my ego at all. I can make sandwiches if I have to. <laughs> you know what I mean. So again, uh, if you look for inspiration, something to look up to, a true American story, get this book. Okay, Nerves of Steel. She's got it. Absolutely. And I would be honored being in the same room. Just, that's just it, you know. So, thank you for being here. Please consider getting the, this book. And uh, have a good day, be safe, and God bless America.